Walking has always been a part of the Commonwealth's heritage. Currently, there's a bill in the State House that would change the time-honored tradition of taking a break from hunting on Sundays. Let's spend five minutes on the topic with State Representative Carrie Benninghoff. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having us. And this certainly is a uh, issue that's been going on for a long time. Um, currently, hunting is allowed Monday through Saturday. There are a few things that can be hunted on Sunday, but for the most part, Sundays is off limits. Uh, can you tell us about a bill that's trying to make a change there? Well, it's not a new initiative, but there's been multiple attempts to expand hunting um, for large game, whether it's deer, turkey, some would like to have it across the board. Uh, for those people whose lifestyles may have changed or by types of employment or do not have the ability to get out hunting during a week time, uh, some people may have children and only have access to them through uh, marital differences on the weekends and would like to be able to go hunting with them on the weekends. And so there's been a growing interest on that. I think our uh, prohibition of it probably sends back to our old blue laws and it's one of the few things that we have not changed. Uh, but there are also people who very strongly uh, oppose this, predominantly that in the farming community and those who hike and use the woods for other recreational uh, resources would like to know that there's one day out of the month pardon me, one day out of the week and four days out of the month uh, that they could probably go hunting, pardon me, hiking and not have to worry about somebody out there hunting. Mm -hmm. And certainly uh, you mentioned the youth. There has been a decline in youth getting involved in anything outdoors, fishing, hunting, that yes. type of thing. Um, is that one of the big arguments? Well, I think some people believe that the youth represent future mm -hmm. adult hunters, and I concur with that, but I also believe that their youth have so many different uh, exercises and activities right. that can pull them away from it and greater participation than they had before that uh, you know hunting's declined for a multitude of reasons unfortunately you know hunting supports itself through the sales of licenses so if you have less participants you have less money to be managing the resources and promote the sport of hunting so it's a very difficult balancing act mm -hmm. uh, to have the numbers of hunters diminishing and not necessarily having any younger uh, hunters coming along to help to replenish that. So I think it's important to have this dialogue. I think people need to weigh in whether you're for or against it uh, for whatever reason. And their argument has always been um, the fact that people think we need to keep Sunday sacred. And others have contacted me and said, well, wait a minute, you know, my Sabbath may not be Sunday. And so it has been interesting, the dialogues and the input that we get. And I think with any issue, the more of that we get, the better to get a better feel for what Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania really wants today and for the future. I'm sure you've heard a lot of comments from different landowners, and they're not going to all be the same, but what are some things that landowners say about this idea? Well, it depends on which ones you speak to. There are those who have problems with uh, the game affecting their land, and so they would like them removed and, and taken out of their way. Uh, there are others that are very just traditional, uh, may have some other livestock of their own that they like to let graze more aggressively or more openly. And so Sundays have historically been the days they would do that or let them graze closer to the wooded areas, which may be open to hunting. And so Sunday was one day they knew they could do that in a safe manner. And for some of them, it's just traditional values of not wanting this activity to occur on Sundays. And a lot of them have said, if you expand it to Sundays, we will close off our land for those hunting privileges. And that's obviously problematic. Uh, Pennsylvania's got enough trouble with not having uh, enough acreage open and more and more people posting land that we don't want to upset our agrarian community, which predominantly has some of the good areas to be hunting. So uh, there's a lot of people keep in mind in this debate. Uh, the chairman of the committee is Representative John Evans, yes. and it's his bill that, that's uh, going forward. He says he has support from a number of state and, and national sportsmen's groups. Um, but what are your constituents saying about this? I'm sure you hear a lot. You know, the majority of my constituents that I hear from uh, are not supportive of this. And I actually, it's one of those issues that I get stopped, whether it's at the street uh, or in a grocery store, at church, uh, and people take time to actively call. And I would tell viewers, whether you're for or against this issue, it's one I think you ought to speak to any legislator that represents your area or even around you uh, in the Senate and in the House. Because I think uh, most of us want to be able to please what our constituencies has, but it's hard to gauge. So I'm, I'm glad I've heard from a considerable amount, even though the majority may oppose the issue. It helps me better gauge how to represent them. Well, I'm sure, as you said, it was an issue for many years, and uh, it, it may take a while to get it through, if at all. Right. 
So uh, we'll be talking about this more, I'm sure. We've got other sessions down the road. If it doesn't pass this time, I know it'll be tried again and again. Yep. Well, if you have comments or questions about this or any other legislative topic, Representative Benninghoff's contact information will be on the screen in just a few seconds. Thanks for spending five minutes with State Representative Carrie Benninghoff.